So, I want to talk about illusions and reality of third business. Um, I'm one of those, oh, okay, that is working. I'm one of those uh, circle operators that are also organizing here the uh, HECLU conference, co-organizing. Co, co, co uh, you might know that circle is the third, the kind of national third uh, for Luxembourg, um, so the <laughs> third for the private sector and the communes and the non-governmental entities in Luxembourg, and we are used to request takedown, so of malicious content, from the internet, from servers, taking down, yeah, all that stuff. And we don't limit ourselves to Luxembourg, but we do it in the entire world as far as we can and as far as we are supported by that. Very quick statistic about the, the work we've done in the last three months. We have uh, been um, yeah, looking at around 19 uh, individual mail spam campaigns, mainly Drydex and Loki. And uh, from that, we have, we, yeah, we could work on around 2,500 individual uh, takedown requests all over the world. Majority of those have been um, closed within the first 48 hours. Uh, so that means that the, the content was made unavailable. Um, out of these, uh, most are closed within 24 hours. Um, many could be closed within a few hours and some ISPs are really, really, really fast and they do it within minutes. On the downside, some are still left and um, that's around 250 incidents or 250 um, uh, yeah, takedown requests that are still open um, and they are aged between seven days and, and three months. Plus... Plus, plus, um, many of them take much longer than 48 hours to, to be taken down. So what is the takedown process and what is the theory? In theory, you discover malicious content on the internet by whatever means. Then you identify the, the owner of that, so you check the URL, what is the, what is the, who is giving for the domain, who, what is the who is for the, for the IP address and so on. So you identify the owner, the host, the ISP, the registrar, and you inform all of them so that someone of them is able to act on it. In an ideal world, uh, in a short time later, you receive the feedback that this content has been removed or made unavailable, or in an even more ideal world, that the server has been reinstalled because they saw that it's so compromised that it's uh, yeah for the trash bin. Well, and then the takedown is over. We get a notification, we can close, or we see that it's, uh, that it's taken down and we can close the case. That's not reality. Reality is we discover malicious on the internet, we identify the owner, we inform them, and then interesting things happen. And we come to that later. Now, uh, then we initiate a top secret process. Uh, that is um, really, really, really top secret. And well, after all, we always take down the stuff. Now, this is kind of mail that we send to the uh, to the hosters. That's uh, describing the URL. It's describing that it's already known to be malicious on various things. And um, we explain what has what is wrong on that, on that machine, what they can do to check it, and we have a best practices that we link to. Yes, that looks like phishing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, again, theory. There, yeah, some things could go wrong. And this is just a collection of the things f from the past few months. What could go wrong if you send such an announcement to, to, um, uh, to the ISP and the hoster? Like, for instance, if you send out an English message, it's, it's quite difficult to understand what's, yeah, sometimes what's coming back to you. Uh, and here is not just the character set, the wrong one for us. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure what's in there. <laughs> QQ. <laughs> You're right. Also, this one is, Okay, but uh, you need Google Translate and um, or we need to employ people from, in this case, Turkey. 
Turkish people here? Um, this, this is easier, I think. I, it's, it's, it's Dutch, and uh, I think you, they just tell you that you need to log in somewhere, or not, or perhaps. Um, this is better. This is constantly... Mm, you, you, you fetch all that stuff automatically, whom to inform, and then in the who is, you, in, you, 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 you get that information, you send it there, and then you get an auto-reply back that you need to fill out a form, please, because it's uh, their process or it's privacy protected. Great. And so your situation doesn't scale at all. You have to start from scratch. You have to enter all that information again into a web form. Great. Uh, abuse handlers use Clem AV to scan their content on the servers and they find nothing. Okay, why should they work on it and remove anything? Okay, endless discussions. <laughs> also, this is good. You send something there and after a few email exchanges with people that is with a, a, a similar situation with someone who's uh, do, using Clem AV to, to, to tell you that there is nothing uh, bad on the machine. He's bothering you after a while with um, a procedure that you have to follow for further um, um, interaction with them. Hmm, great, scales. Other people don't understand exactly. You saw my, you saw the mail that we sent to them and uh, they reply back that the nature of your abuse report is not entirely clear. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe their job description is also not entirely clear. <laughs> Classic. Abuse mailbox over quota. <laughs> Classic. Message rejected by filter rule match like. M malware indicators, mm. but this is the best. <laughs> okay, now, uh, how can we escalate the, such a situation because we usually don't want to give up? Uh, what's now coming is a uh, condensed, almost real telephone conversation. It's, it is in fact a condensed version of several telephone conversations with a random ISP, a hosting provider in Spain. And um, I love this year, and it might remind you, Cisco's default on hold music. I know all of them. <laughs> and I think it's ringing now. Oh, good afternoon. My name is Sascha Rommelfangen. I'm with Circle the National Computer Emergency Response Team in Luxembourg. Um, a couple of days ago, we sent you a bunch of abuse requests, um, and we reported um, a malware in, 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 in your company. Well, unfortunately, we haven't gotten any feedback. Is there uh, someone I could speak to, please? To whom do you want to speak? Oh, preferably the abuse department. The what? Uh, the abuse department. That is the department taking care of internet abuse. We don't have one. Oh, uh, so can I speak to your security department, please? The security department is not reachable via phone. You need to contact them by email. Uh, we <laughs> have already contacted them countless times in the last weeks. I would prefer exceptionally discussed this matter on the phone. Okay, uh, you have a name or an extension I can transfer you to? A name of someone at Dixitel working in the security department? Yes, do you have a name? <laughs> okay, Carlos? And the last name? Uh, <laughs> Possibly uh, Batista Dominguez Maria Sevilla Coronis. I can't find anyone in the directory by that name. Uh, might have to do with the fact that I just invented it. Then please give me another name. You don't care that I just came up with that name? As long as you have a name, uh, I'm fine. 
Okay, do you mind waiting for a minute? I would like to go to Wikipedia and do a quick research about your company. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have a name. Jose Miguel Garcia Fernandez. It's your CEO. Just hold down a second. I'll transfer your call. Uh, all right, thank you. <laughs> so the, the, the call was transferred in the end. Uh, this